I'm gonna show you guys how I get ready for my day. So I start off with makeup, I put a bit of concealer, actually a lot of concealer because I need it. And I go ahead and spread it out with my beauty blender and then I use a pressed powder to set it. Then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and put some bronzer on my cheekbones as well as on my forehead area and I just kinda try to blend it as well as I can. Guys, with makeup, no makeup is wrong or right. Just do whatever feels right for you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and link up my hair straightener and I wanna lower the amount because I think it does, it's set to 380 and I bring it down to like 250. And then I'm just putting some Vaseline on my lips. So I have a keratin treatment on my hair and what ends up happening is when I shower, my little baby hairs still get curly. Um, so I just straighten them out just so it can match the rest of my head. Even if I don't wash my hair, it still kind of makes them curly because of the humidity in the bathroom. So that's what happened here. And then I'm gonna take a brush to it because I have a ton of knots just like everybody else. set it with some hairspray. It's like the lowest hold for the Aussie hairspray and I've been using this for years. I'm using the Lancome mascara here and it's actually already drying out so I wasn't able to get too much product. So uh, this morning kind of got started really, really late. It's 3.19, it's late afternoon. This morning I got up, made coffee, showered, was editing, then grabbed lunch. And you guys, like, it was really just a very busy morning. But I'm so glad that it's over with and it's done. So now I get to do all the fun things. I'm getting ready because I'm going to meet up my friend. We're probably going to go get something to eat for dinner. And then I also wanted to make a return to TJ Maxx. Look for a bath mat to fit in this bathroom. As you saw, I made the bed late. I was trying to relax a little bit and just, like, watch a little bit of YouTube. Which is what I do to, like, pass my time. Like, for me, watching other YouTubers is very relaxing. I do have a Target pickup order, and I just wanna make sure that I have everything that I need to get done for today. Um, but you guys are just gonna come along and join me for the rest of the day, so technically the afternoon going into the evening. And I showed you guys my little makeup routine, which uh, takes me like five, 10 minutes at max. The longest part of my makeup is actually my mascara because I like to put more than one coat, so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe do one more coat of that. Um, and then I'll be ready for, you know, for our outing later on. So yeah, that's what I have going on right now. Mm. I already have dishes on the drying mat. I'm gonna go ahead and put that away and then not wash the dishes right now because I really don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna do one part of the task and at least it's gonna be ready for when I'm ready to wash the dishes. We recently got a Breville machine, but my boyfriend was still going to Duncan to pick up coffee and I asked him like, our coffee tastes so much better than going out and buying it. And I think it had to do with like having that plastic cup. I bought plastic cups and lids and straws to see if that will help make him drink it here at home as opposed to buying it out. I mean, regardless, it doesn't matter. He could buy it if he wants to, but it's like we have an amazing coffee machine that makes amazing coffee, so why not? just do that, right? Bought this for Christmas. My sister bought this for me as a Christmas gift. I love it, it's so good. Like I always have dry hands. Winter time for me is like dry, everything's dry all the time. Like, I'm sure most of you guys feel the same way. Um, this is awesome. It's geared towards men, but I highly recommend. It has like a minty smell and it really reminds me of the spa. I don't have like the best looking hands, but they are so soft. Usually I have like eczema and it's like breaking and it's kind of gross. So highly recommend if you have eczema or extremely dry skin, get this. 
not sponsored. Okay, so as most of you know, if you watch my previous videos, I did a major decluttering in January and what I posted in my videos isn't even, I wanna say it's like probably two thirds of the work that I did. Decluttering has changed my life and I don't mean like organizing, putting things away. I'm talking about legitimately getting rid of things. So it all started with an Instagram post that one of my YouTubers posted. She reposted somebody saying that she's following like her decluttering method. And at that time I felt very overwhelmed. I felt like we needed a bigger place, which we're only two people. We live in a two bedroom condo and it's huge. Like this place is huge for us, okay? Like, it was always in my mind when I was out like, oh, I need to clean when I get home or tomorrow I can't do anything. Like I can't do anything on Sunday because I have to clean or I can't do anything until I clean. And that was the next thing that I noticed. There was no more of that. Like there's none of that. To the point where there's nothing that's out that needs to be cleaned or maintained, I guess you can say. We can pick up not only like our after ourselves, but we also have like that um, bandwidth to pick up for the other person as well. And then the next thing that I noticed is when I'm making videos. So because it went so smooth in cleaning our home, the filming was smooth, which means that I was able to film in two hours and finish our home. And the editing was like, like this, like you guys, I edited, I like roughly edited my video in one hour, one hour. I believe the ease of going into our home, getting set up, and I'm talking about like, not just when I'm filming, I'm talking about like daily life things. It just flows, everything flows in the house. If I wanted to make a coffee, it's like, you grab this, you, you get this, you put this. There's no cleaning up before I'm doing things. There's no picking up before I'm doing things. And that's made a huge difference. If you felt that way, you felt like you were frustrated or overwhelmed in your home, or you feel like the cleaning's just taking over your life, you guys, I highly suggest to look into decluttering and simplifying. And let me know if you've tried it, if you've done it, let me know in the comments below. Let's chat, give me tips, because this is my journey of decluttering and simplifying my home. And I still have so many more things that I wanna go through. And as we go on and on, we're just gonna continue to declutter. And it's just made our life so easy. And try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. We're gonna eat Red Robin. I'm really excited. I haven't eaten there in forever. It's been years. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm also extremely starving. This is really the best snack. Nacho cheese, sustitos, chips, whichever chips, it doesn't really matter. But this nacho cheese is so good. TJ Maxx in hopes that I would find the same set, but I ended up just finding one of them, which was perfect because I just needed one more. Um, and so this is what I'm gonna put in the bathroom. Okay, so I wanna tell you guys what happened. I was coming from hanging out with my friend and I had a Target pickup. There was like a couple of cops like with their lights on in the drive up section. So I was like, oh, I'll go on the other side. But then I noticed that there were cop cars like even on the front of the Target, so I was like, this is weird. Like there was a bunch of cop cars. The Target looked like it was like somewhat closed. And then I could just see like 
random people like driving around, kind of like me, like just confused as to what's happening. And then I realized that something happened because right next to the Target, all of the Target employees on that wall and they were all like just standing there. I don't know if maybe there was some type of threat. Something happened, there was some type of threat in the Target or maybe there was something that happened in the Target and so for like everyone's safety, they probably just shut it down. Um, but yeah, it's just unfortunate. I hope that everyone's doing okay and that nobody got hurt. But I was gonna show you guys what I purchased from Target, but I couldn't do my pickups. I am gonna be ending my vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed a day in the life with me. Um, I hope that it was entertaining enough because I don't know, it's just like me doing like the things that I do. But yeah, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next vlog.